So tonight we're here to discuss the A full auditorium at Nashua City Hall for the EPA's Mohawk Tannery public meeting. Residents expressing concern as they learned what the cleanup options are for the Superfund site to make it ready for future development. I'm hoping that you guys look at it as kind of from your perspective is what if I lived in this neighborhood? The EPA is recommending encapsulation and impermeable capping of the waste at the current site, costing between 8 and 14.2 million dollars. Many are calling for complete removal, which the EPA estimates to cost over 32 million dollars. Do you want to spend a bunch of money at this time or do you want to spend less money and then money, money, money? Will it take a little longer? You know, will it require a formal NPL listing? You know, maybe, but uh, we do it right or we do it twice. I'm not really all that worried about a little bit of noise and a little bit of emissions and a little bit more money if it means that when my two-year-old son, God love him, starts eating dirt, <laughs> it's not going to cause cancer in him later on. Questions and comments included concerns with the capping plan about the lack of lining under the area, possible leaking, and how long that solution will last. If the solution that's being proposed is being proposed because it's a money thing, we need to do the right thing, not the cheap thing. Our lives are possibly at risk. And when you say that you trust the experts, I don't trust the EPA. Now, the EPA says they're working with a developer who already has a purchase and sale agreement. The public did get one thing they wanted tonight, an extension on the public comment period by 30 days. It now ends September 7th. In Nashua, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9. Okay.